Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Cristiano Criminelli is here from Criminelli Meats. He has brought us a beautiful charcuterie board. I don't know if I said that correctly, but he will correct my pronunciation. And is here to tell us all about this local Utah business. Thanks for being here, Cristiano. Thanks so much. Thanks for inviting me. And, and don't worry, like, you're going to correct me for the English, and I'm going to correct okay, you good. for the Italian. So, so <laughs> tell me about this beautiful board. Yeah, as um, you know, um, we're approaching the summertime, and, and usually people like to, to eat fresh and, uh, and good food. And, I think charcuterie board actually at the end is one of the best solution for the summertime. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of olive, and a little bit of different salami. Here we can see different variety, spicy one. The prosciutto, prosciutto become really, really popular. It's, a, it's not really a fermented meat, but it's a dry aged meat, but it's, it's probably right now the most popular item of the charcuterie board. And they are really becoming big. There's a lot of buzz about these boards. And yours is beautiful, the colors. How do you approach a board at Criminelli Meats when you decide to create one? Oh, but for, for the board itself? Mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, usually, it's, uh, like I tell to everybody, I don't have something of favorite. You wake up in the morning and you have something like you like more than the other one, so you do different variation. And I actually, you can be really open and you can pair, actually. Also, if they are, uh, let's say, salty, salty preparation, you can pair really well with food, with one local one, you know, and with the almonds and everything, like uh, with, with berry is amazing, I can tell you. With kiwi, I know a lot of people like kiwi right now, so I tell you, kiwi and prosciutto, they are amazing together. Figs, then, is perfect. It's very universal, you're right, there's so many things you can do. Tell me a little bit about Criminelli Meats. What made you decide to create this business here in Utah? Yeah, usually I tell to everybody, I come in Utah because I like a lot the nightlife, but it's not the truth. <laughs> Yeah. No. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, I was, um, I, I was in, um, well, I was one of the supplier of House America during the 2004 Olympic game in, uh, in uh, Italy, and I met one of my business partner, and we start to talk about my work, and little by little came the idea to do something here in U.S. and and I recall it was 2006 the first time I, I come here in U.S. and I start in a. Uh, to do some little preparation and I see people actually really enthusiastic about the product. So at the end I tell to myself, actually I tell to my wife, hey, I will be in the US not for a lot of time, don't worry, <laughs> and I'm going to prepare something and, and then the company become bigger and bigger and now is, uh, I'm, I'm really happy actually. We are here, we are situated uh, in, in, uh, in, in uh, Salt Lake City and, uh, and we work a little bit with all the, the United States actually. We, uh, you can find our product in most of the shopping around the U.S. So You can ship it all over the U.S. Sure. What makes your meat special? I think it's the way we age the meat. You know, most of the people don't know the salami is a fermented product. It's a fermented meat. So is the preparation itself is really unique. The texture and the flavor, they're really, really particular. Because, you know, we work with bacteria. So the bacteria digest the, the sugar uh, you find inside the meat and, and produce like a little bit of lactic acid. So they give this kind of like really particular taste and flavor. And then helps also to break down the protein, break down the fat, so become a little bit more melt, melty. And, and when you put it in your mouth, the texture is, is very, very different. Mm -hmm. I think uh, people here, they are more, uh, uh, they know more like uh, salumi, like pepperoni. So when they try this kind of salumi, they are like uh, genuinely surprised, you know, like, oh, wow, they are, they are really different. And, and usually they like, this is why I'm here in the U.S., you know, you guys, they are so open-minded, ready to try new stuff. And, and if, if, if it's good, like, okay, we're going to buy. So. <laughs> That's quite a compliment. That's good to hear. No, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Growing up, were you always interested in cooking and food? Yeah, this is my, you know, I, like I tell to everybody, it's not really my work, it's my hobby. So what, what do you want more? Like when your work is your hobby, you don't want more. Like, and, uh, you know, I like to try different food and, uh, and I'm lucky enough to be able to travel around the world and try different spice, different meat, different flavor. And, and then I try to incorporate in my, in my salumi. So, uh, you know, they are, most of the salami we do, they are original, they are original recipe, like uh, the same one we do in Italy. But for example, here you can see the whiskey salami. Whiskey is not original from Italy for sure, but I have the opportunity actually to come here in Park City and try the High West Distillery whiskey. And I tell you, you know, I want to incorporate this kind of uh, whiskey inside the meat and see what happened. And I did for, um, 
a small production during a, a holiday season was like four years ago. And then now is one of the most, uh, the one we sell more because people like the whiskey flavor inside the cured meat. So it's particular. Well, I'm excited to dig in, but before, <laughs> before I do that, so you mentioned you can ship anywhere in the country, but where in Utah can we find your product? Oh, a different shop, like probably uh, here in Park City, you can find uh, for sure in all the, the Starbucks because we work with Starbucks, but then Armonds, we work with Smith, uh, we work with Whole Food. Uh, the, the market, uh, I think it's dense, sorry, like uh, was the market, mm -hmm. uh, I recall it. Yeah, you can find uh, a little bit uh, in everywhere right now. We work a little bit with Kroger, we work with, uh, with different companies, so it's not super hard to find. Actually, I'd say it's more the easiest way right now to find, yeah. What's your favorite part of being in the meat business? Oh. You know, I wake up every day and I'm happy to wake up because I need to go to work. <laughs> this is what I like of my work. Like it's fun, it's always different. This is not repetitive. They are, you have the opportunity to know amazing people every day. They, they are passionate about what they do and passionate about food and, and they put a smile in your face uh, every day and uh, wonderful, like what I want more. <laughs> well, your passion comes across. Where can we get more information? Uh, in our website, you know, you can go to www.criminelli.com, you can find everything we do and, and also in uh, Facebook and uh, in uh, Instagram, sorry I'm not so, so good in that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we, we like to put our story, we like to uh, make the people participate to the, the, the choose we do and why we use particular ingredients, why we do the salami in this way. So actually they can see and they can follow us and understand really deeply what we want to do. Well, okay, I want to dig in. Oh, yeah. What do you recommend? It's a work uh, of art, though. I, I'm disrupting it. No, no, don't worry. Like, uh, you know, probably this time in the morning, I, I will do the prosciutto because the smile is the mildest okay. one. Yeah, go ahead. Just dig like... Uh, but then... So this is the... The prosciutto is right here. In the yes. Right. And uh, <laughs> very simple. There's salt and meat. Very mm -hmm. simple. Like, I, there is three ingredients. Salt, meat, and thyme. Salt, meat, and thyme. Yeah, because, you Perfect. know... Not a lot of people think about, but to make a prosciutto takes between one year to 14, 15 months. Mm, it's delicious. So one year to 14 to 15 months. Oh, yeah. Mm. You know? It's yeah. so good. I can taste the difference, taste the passion. Thanks so much for being here, Christian. Thanks for reminding me a lot. Thank hearing you. Hearing more about your product. I have seen it in the stores and Starbucks, and it's great to hear more about it. And I'm a fan. I'm excited to go to break so I can. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. All right, check out Cremonelli Meats. It is delicious, and you want to go and eat their beautiful meat, enjoy the taste. You can see the passion from Cristiano himself. It comes through in their product. All right, we have much more coming up on Mountain Connections after this break.